Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. Today, we're going to talk about screwing, driving screws, hard, fast, and so forth. I'm not going to talk about the El Cheapo screwdrivers. Everybody's got a drawer right full of them. We're going to talk specifically, it's interesting because the high, I, I sort of have a, my finger on the pulse of the hive mind. There's, you know, I get to talk to lots of people and certain topics come in fits and starts and it just so happens that screwdrivers a lot of guys have been asking me about screwdrivers i mean screwdrivers who knew who knew <laughs> so we're going to talk about good screwdrivers what i like to see and what uh, i prefer to avoid right off the hop there is no perfect screwdriver it all depends on what feels good to you and what job you're using it for so the perfect set of screwdrivers will likely have some really good screwdrivers for certain jobs and other drivers that you don't really use too much. So here are some of my favorites. For home gaming, keeping the missus happy, uh, fixing little things around the house, I like the Pick Quick, made in Canada Derp, and it's got all the different bits that you need right in the handle, like a six shooter. Here we have, uh, yeah, so we got six, probably four of the number one Phillips, and not a Robertson inside. <laughs> So oh, this kind of needs to be restocked, but uh, this is the one you just carry with you when you're doing little odd jobs. Fantastic. I think they're like 20 bucks. Here's the wearer. You see these a lot in the Vigeos on account of it's got the Torx security. I don't like the look of them. The feel of them in your hand, eh. But they are convenient because they're, it's hard to find the security ones in a proper handle that's not just a bit made in the Czech Republic one thing it's missing is the nut so if you have a recalcitrant fastener you can put a wrench on there just push with your palm and really give her a while these you can't do that you need to go across the flats or you know some other arrangement with vice grips ugly uh, they do these this does wear out after a while like it starts to go rotten on you here's one i picked up in ireland i'm not familiar with this brand but for prodden and pokin yeah the dingus end on her is pre <laughs> it's pretty blunt but for podden and pokin and whacking with a hammer uh this yeah it's tough as shit actually ugly though and of course because it is a square drive you can get a wrench on there to palm hand it and or palm heel it and and tweak her over mind not the temporal spatial shift here i was on days off and uh, went to the land of the i don't know what you call it anyway the land of good tools and i recalled that these are actually pieces of junk on account of the tip being far too hard as every High school debutante will tell you, normally, just the tip is uh, the cock for dolly on account of not getting preggers and avoiding the gonocephalades. However, you use it the one time, which is what I used it, and broke the tip clean off of her. So, these, relegated to the junk bin. Yavage! Being as it is that they're shite with a DQ tip finger, I'd give you an alternative. Here, got these right from the source. Made in Germany. Weehaw! With... The striking end, real tough bolster, real tough shank on her. Got the, uh, you know, extra twisty bits. The only thing is, doesn't feel real good in my hand. I don't like the super round. Uh, doesn't seem to have all that. Well, I haven't really used them, but there's the Weeha. Expensive as shit. Looks like you can beat on them. So that's an alternative for the poking and prodding style. Here's uh, another Weeha. Nice, real thin 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 tip you ought to be able to break some aluminum castings pretty easy with this getting her in there and then we also have found this the posi drive so it's that jis standard if you'd focus you fuck i apologize if the whole thing was out of frame here i wasn't uh, wasn't paying too much attention here's the weha with the wood handles uh haven't really used it doesn't feel as nice as the fellatio. They missed putting the surfacing stuff on here. What would you call that? Lacquer. It's not in the groove. Oh, check this out. Awesome. Awesome. I'd never seen these before, so pick this up in Germany. It is a replaceable blade scraper. Super, super sharp. Razor sharp. 
but just straight across there what for uh, getting rid of decals and stuff you know normally you have a, a razor blade but sometimes you know you want a, a little more purchase on that razor blade so this is that um, pull it out on occasion comes with replaceable tips and so forth this is a cool little one too straight from the source in Germany so cute now ah, the six shooter right in the handle of the stubby love it as you can see however long term we don't know how they're going to stand up next we got the fap off of course these you gotta take out a second mortgage uh, these are like the well <laughs> these are the gucci purse of the mechanics world uh, lovely they'll always tell you you're making an investment an investment if you're <laughs> If you're investing in screwdrivers, partner, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because you're mistaken. But this has the nice knot on here so you can give her a proper tweak. This is, as you can see from the gray, this is actually a posi drive, so JIS. And these are hard to come by, actually. But I, I like the look of them. I like the feel of them. Nice, very nice handle screwdriver. As an addendum to that, I like the snap-on uh, O-ring picks. They're the best ones going. I've tried the Mac as well. And like the hazard fraud, it's not even worth buying because the tips break off. You break a tip off in something important and uh, yeah, you're in a fucking world of hurt. So it's, it's worth investing in a good set of picks. And Snap-on are the one that my go-to. Just as a comparison, here's the, the older style. I believe they have a newer style Mac handle. I don't really buy too much Mac. Uh, it's the same as the Proto, I believe. Same company, Stanley Tools. The only problem with Mac is the guy's never around. Like, the guy's never around. Or if he's around, he's only around for a couple years and then he goes tits up. Something about the Mac guy in Canada, they just, uh, uh, small towns, they just can't, I don't know, they just can't service their customers. So, it's kind of a non start for me. This one is a Klein made in the USA. I really like this one because it's short but got the, the, the wide enough blade. It fits right in your pocket, your, your breast pocket. Uh, one thing I have found is this, this rubber part loosens off but for poking, prodding, uh, prying stuff, this is my go-to for field work. Love this one. Uh, for electronics and small fasteners, we have a uh, selection. Oh, let me get this for you. So we have the Vera, quite long in the handle. I'm, yeah, they're, they're okay. They're okay. Here's the snap-on. Uh, again, I, I'm not, I don't really like the shape of it. It doesn't, it doesn't feel right in my hand. I don't, it's just not, it doesn't do it for me. This, this is the cock for Dolly here. These are Weeha, made in Germany. I really like the feel of these ones. Uh, they stand up well. Nice blades on them. And yeah, that's my go-to for small fasteners. Now, you we all know those shitty little kits for these tiny screwdrivers that you get from the dollar store or whatever. Here is a tip for you. You go to the Japanese dollar store. It's called Daiso. And these are made in China, but they're at the Japanese dollar store. They're fucking incredible for two bucks. They're beautiful. The knurling on them is perfect. Everything feels really nice. Not not nearly as janky and crappy as <laughs> as the ones you get from the from the dollar store, but still cheap like borscht. So I buy these by the gross because they're they're two bucks and they're really really good ones like they actually feel nice they feel like a quality tool for driving bits nothing beats the ratcheting snap-on screwdriver nothing beats it there's that one in made in canada the roll lock but it's got a sprag clutch it's got a one-way bearing and this is like it's positive you're never gonna strip that gear out never you're <laughs> You put a pipe wrench on there yeah eventually it'll strip out the beauty about this i like the stubby the beauty about it is you can change the shank so you change the shank here it's a quarter inch drive and now 
you got a nice longer shank. This is this is the go-to for putting bits into. And of course, you always have those oddball bits that are just wee short, like either a tri-wing or whatever. These are great for driving those. Love this one. As far as ratcheting screwdrivers, well worth the 35, 40 bucks you pay for it. Cause yeah, cause they're worth it. It's just straight up worth it. Now we come to it, my new favorite. Had these for about six months. The fit and finish on them is perfect. Very high quality. Philo brand out of Germany. It's got a metal ferrule and it's got the nut here to give her a little extra tweaking. On the end, shank goes right on through. So you're, if you need to give her a little tap, it goes right through the shank and leather <laughs> gland end on her. Feels real nice in the hand. I like the feel of it. it. These are really nice. It doesn't feel like plastic. It feels, it, they're nice. The only problem is compared to say something like this, when your hands get a little greasy, you don't have nearly the purchase that you have with something like this. So this is, you know, you gotta keep a, you gotta keep a rag around so that if your hands get the least bit greasy, you can still have some purchase on them. But man, they they feel, and I really, really like them. If I could get wooden handled everything, I would. So some oddball tools here that you might not have, but if you, Here's the Mac, like I said, the Mac O-ring pick as part of a four gang kit. I don't like these handles so much. They're, they kind of have the same, they don't have a nice shape, but they have the same problem as the wood, the varnished wood in that as soon as your hands get the least bit greasy, they're super, super slick. And of course you're doing O-ring. If you're picking O-rings, there's going to be oil there. So there's the Mac handle. Eh still go for these here's some oddball tools this is a, a seal installer kind of o-ring manipulator so that you don't damage it uh, as you can see it hasn't been used too too much what i normally do before i bought that what i would do is just take a flat plated screwdriver and put it on the the grinding wheel with the with the wire wheel and really give her give her wah to get that sharp edge off and then you can manipulate seals and so forth without uh, cutting into them. Other thing that's super super useful is a snap-on handle of course. These kind of picks but bigger o-ring picks. This is great for cotter pins and just getting in there and reefing stuff around trying to pull hoses off and so forth. They have they have another one that's got a, a weird hook shape for loosening hoses off of uh, spigots that have been calcified on there. Here's a bigger O-ring too. You really get in there and give her a while. Last and certainly least, don't do what Donnie Don't did. Buy screwdriver handles for your files. Okay, why doesn't that work? Look at the difference here. Here's a proper file handle. And here's the very expensive, stupidly expensive. You know, that's the thing. Normally you buy a good tool, you never regret it. You never pick up that tool and say, Man, I, I wish I didn't buy this beautiful, nice tool. It feels really good in my hand. I wish I had a crappier tool, spent less money on. You never do that. So it's one of those uh, buy once, cry once type deal. But in this case, stupid, stupid, stupid idea because you never get the right index on here. So it wants to sit, because it's square, it wants to sit in your hand a certain way. That means you're tweaking the file over a certain way. Just a terrible idea. Bad, bad Uncle Bumblefuck. What you want for your files is a proper file handle. Like that. Nice and round, and that way there's no tweakage happening. It doesn't want to naturally sit in your hand cocked over. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. It's all personal feel. I pointed out a few little points that I watch for when I'm buying uh, expensive tools. You, know, you don't want to waste your money on on expensive tools that end up being crap. So thanks a lot for watching. Keep your dick in advice.